So, I've just finished unlocking Team of the Season Cersei, and uh, in this video today, we're going to try him out to see if he is worth the grind to unlock. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor, IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description, and if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. So, what you got to do to get this guy? Well, you are going to have to play a minimum of six games, which really isn't that bad, especially compared to some of the pre previous Team of the Season objectives we have had. In those six games, you're going to have to assist with a through ball using Argentinian players. Easy. Um, score f uh, three finesse goals in at that time um, with uh, five Super League players in your squad. Once again, easy. Um, scoring two um, using players with four star skill moves at minimum. Once again, easy. And then assist using Super League players in four separate matches as well. Very, very easy to do and uh, a very easy unlock. And straight up, even if you're not going to use this guy, he's worth unlocking just because he's a high rated player that you can bang into an SBC. But um, Mike and the look of the card, it could be a really, really good midfield option. Oh, so this is the side we're going to be using Sosa in. He's going to get that nice green link into Team the Season Big Lear. And it's going to be interesting to compare the two because I've been really liking big Lear so far he was really good when I did the uh, team of the season Davidson review so uh, we'll see how them two do match up anyway let's have a look at this card four star four star good to see on a mid and uh, plenty of traits as well which is great and then we move on to the in-game stats of which he's got some pretty good ones especially in that passing department some really really um, high level attributes right there so we're expecting his distribution to be pretty much on a point and um, the same to be said uh, for his dribbling as well for most part really nice ball control composure and dribbling agility is a little bit low compared to some other team season midfielders but hopefully he still feels you know really really nice in possession of the football and um, he's got some decent in, uh, defending stats to be fair that interception stat definitely does stand out look as a CDM like an out and out defensive one he doesn't look like he's going to fit that role but his defensive stats look very good for an actual centre mid so uh, hopefully that turns out quite nicely in game physicals are nice aside from the stamina I think 84 stamina at this stage of the game um, is a little bit low, but um, strength and aggression are perfect, so I'm uh, really happy with them. Shooting looks great for a mid, really good shot power and long shots, hopefully we get to test that out. And then um, the pace, ah, I hate these kind of pace splits, I really, really do. I would much rather it be the other way, other way around, but uh, we are going to put a chem style on to uh, help him out in that pace depart. Speaking of chem styles, let's now look how they affect this guy. Ultimately, I think when choosing one for this guy, there's two options and it depends where you want to play him. If you want to use him as a centre mid, I think engine is a really good option. Brings up his dribbling really nicely, makes his passing elite and uh, gives him obviously a nice little pace boost as well. But if you want him to be a bit quicker or you want to use him in a bit more of a defensive role, I think shadow will be the one. Obviously, the massive pace boost is great and then uh, them defensive stats become very very good at that point and I think Shadow is what we're going to use for this video. In Sosa's debut we are up against a full Premier League side, he's got some good Premier League midfield as well so uh, we're going to have a nice little team the season Premier League, no team the season midfielder um, battle in this one. Sosa's first touch of the ball, he just got absolutely annihilated by Suche. Chance now for Sosa. Puts it through nicely for Thierry Henry, who's actually done really well to control that. Here's a chance. Sosa plays it through. That's a good ball as well for Thierry Henry. We're going to cut back. We're going to hit the finesse as well, and we're going to score. Great way to start this game. Chance. Sosa. Oh, just couldn't get the ball with his feet quick enough, and Rodri closes him down. Fine. Sosa. Look for the run. Oh, what a through ball. What a through ball in behind for Correa. Can we make the most of it? Yeah, oh, we almost did. We do eventually. I didn't think we were going to score there, but uh, we do in the end. Nice from Big Lear. Van Sosa, who's almost just bundles through. Well, 45 minutes down and the score is at 2-2. bit annoying to let a two-goal lead slip, but um, I always say 2-0 is probably the most dangerous score on in Ultimate Team. Um, for the second 45, we are going to make some changes. We're going to switch to my favourite 4-2-3-1 formation. And we're going to put him in a, a CDM role next to Big Leo. Let's see how these two work as a team. SCN, unfortunately, is going to end up coming off just because I don't really want to play him as a cam, to be honest. So, so we have a chance to distribute now. I see that man free. Oh, what a through ball that ended up being for Sane. Got to be honest, though, wasn't even aiming towards Sane there. I actually went to max power it for the uh, winger. So, stays with Sterling and then Sterling. He's gone to cross there and he's ended up slide tackling me. So, so, nice ball into Bruno. And Bruno, can he break through here against 
Joe Gomez. Oh, I don't know how we've come away with that. I really don't. Can we get a goal off it? Maybe. Oh, we should have. Yes, so, so let's get rid of that ball. Let's end this game. Let's get ourselves... Oh, that actually would have ended up being a really good through ball. So it's a shame we didn't get to see that play out. But uh, we get a nice 5-2 victory against what was actually a decent opponent. And they give him quite a bit of credit because his team was obviously nowhere near as good as ours. But um, yeah, fair play. Not a bad debut from Sosa, to be honest. Um, obviously got himself an assist. And um, obviously was heavily involved in another one of the goals as well. But... Yeah, he was all right. He didn't do anything too crazy, but um, hopefully in the next game we can see a little bit more from him. In the next outing, we are up against a full Premier League side. This time, just literally non-informs everywhere, aside from two really good foot birthday cards. Um, it is strange. I was coming up against insane teams earlier when I was reviewing uh, Davidson, but um, yeah, these teams for Sosa don't seem as good, but um, you never know who you're playing against, so uh, let's not, let's not uh, look at the team too much because uh, I could end up getting smacked. Henry into the path of Sosa, who's just got around his man. Could do with a runner now. Nice ball out wide to Davidson. Who's going to chip it in early chance. Oh. Nice tackle there from Sosa. Closing down Kanta. And now we've got a chance. As Sosa gets through, oh, his keeper's off his line. Oh, we've got it over the keeper, but sadly not over Van Dijk. Davidson finds Sosa. Who finds space. Can we get this ball into the box? You bet we can, but sadly Kanta does really, really well. Sosa to deliver into the box. It's a nice in-swinger. And Davidson, oh, he just sadly can't connect nicely with that second attempt at the header. Sosa sees the run of Davidson, puts him into a lot of space on the wing. Davidson puts the ball in behind as well, and here's a chance for Sosa. Angle's tight and unfortunately does get held off the ball. Opportunity is Kante catches him up, so we've got to get rid of him. Put through a nice through ball in the end for Davidson as well. Can we score off this? Yes, we can. Great setup from Sosa. Well, at the break, it's 1-1. And once again, fair play to my opponent. He's uh, playing well with a much lesser side. But uh, hopefully, in the second 45, we can uh, run away with the win. Going to make the same changes we made in the first game. And uh, this time, we're just going to have Sosa on the right side instead of the left. Because why not? Bruno. Oh, he's put through Sosa. Here's a chance. Ball roll, finesse. Oh, the keeper just got a touch. Hat break. Nice intercept there. Well, unfortunately, in that game, we could not find a winner, and the score ends in a 2-2 scoreline. So, um, yeah, that's that. Um, so, said didn't get a goal, but he did get an assist in that game, which is nice to see. But, um, ultimately, once again, I kind of think he was outperformed by Biglia. Now, I know the match ratings from FIFA don't say that, but um, in-game, it certainly felt that way. So, after a few matches, what do we make of the 90-rated team in the season, Sosa? Look, it's a usable card. It is certainly a usable item, but at this stage of the game, does this card stand out in any area? No, it really doesn't. There are just so many better midfield options available for your teams, and I'll say this instantly, in terms of um, Turkish League centre mids, um, I, did uh, I did prefer Big Lear. He just seems to offer a lot more in pretty much every area to be honest um, I really do like that Biglia card I think it's really really good um, so unfortunately I don't think too many people will find too much use for this Sosa item but um, obviously if you're a Fenerbahce fan it's a no-brainer get it unlocked and get it in your clubs but uh, I can't see too many you know neutrals and um, putting this guy in their team even on their bench to be honest but um, nonetheless as I say it's certainly not unusable it's just not as good as some of the other team season centre mids that we've had it's also not as good as some of the ones we got a fight foot birthday like i'd rather have foot birthday paulinho than this sursa anyway let's get away from that and let's get on to what did i like about this card and the four star four star is obviously really good for a midfielder and for most part this guy's passing was actually very very good but I will add, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. There were a couple of like misplaced passes, which um, kind of surprised me, especially for someone with this guy's kind of stats. His shooting was quite nice, though. He definitely can test goalkeepers from distance, which is obviously a huge benefit. And uh, positionally, uh, for the most part, he was very, very solid. The pace split, I won't lie, annoys me, but I knew that was going to happen after seeing it. But um, he's certainly not slow. He's quick enough, especially with that Shadow Chem style. 
Now, let's talk about the dribbling. I think his ball control is excellent, but um, you can tell he's not as agile as other midfielders because on the turn, he just isn't quite as you know quick to react on them, which is a, a bit annoying, but let's be honest, he's, he's not a cam. He's a centre mid or a DM, so uh, I guess his agility is good enough for that role. When it comes to defending, he's a player who I wouldn't put as a lone DM. I think he can work in a two, but definitely not by himself. I just feel if you do that, you might get exposed a little bit because he's tackling, although it's decent, it's not super strong so uh, yeah you could get caught out a little bit if you had him in at that particular position but um, he certainly can tackle to a good degree and uh, that shadow chem style definitely did help, help out of it but um, as I say his tackling just isn't good enough like, his defensive abilities in general just aren't good enough for uh, the learn DM position and then finally we come on to the physicals he doesn't really offer much aerially and his stamina for me was just a bit frustrating to be honest especially in the latter stages of games and um, he did tire a little bit which is a uh, unfortunate but once again we did expect that when we saw that he had 84 stamina which really is not ideal for a midfielder especially at this stage of the game so uh yeah that's that but um all in all as i said decent item like, it's definitely usable but um it's just because we're getting so many good cards lately that i can't rate him much higher because we are just getting so many better midfield options in the game but of course it's still worth the unlock because it's a free 90 rated card at the end of the day and even if you're not going to use it you can put it into an svc but um if you're like me you'll just end up collecting it because yeah, card collectors. Also, obviously, Fenerbahce fans, um, it's just a no-brainer to have this guy in your club for keeps. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the 90-rated Sosa. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the card and your plans for it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next.